out for everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. This particular video is going to involve three different characters, as compared to the four in the previous video that I've made, as far as I know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and such. I've been trying my best to make things work. Here's the first character. Dome Snatcher. Real name, none. Height and weight, varied. Status, villain in Cosmic Head Thief. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three brains to five brains and a plus. Behavior, sneaky and sinister. She won't stop until she has every head. Lethality. She's both deadly and disturbing. Weaknesses. She'd get a gradual loss of focus. Powers. She has the ability to rip off other people's heads without killing them and use them as her own. The more head she steals, the bigger from the shoulder down she becomes. She also has sharp claws and telepathy. Eyes. Buried. Normally none. Hair buried, normally none. Origin? One time, Cosmic decided to make yet another creature an attempt to destroy the innocents. She soon created a headless being that she since calls the Dome Snatcher, which immediately started stealing heads around New York City. Meanwhile, Neuron found that everyone was missing their heads. Wanting to know what's going on, she soon encountered the Dome Snatcher, who'd stolen enough heads to tower above the city. Knowing she had to do something unlike her, Neuron had defeated the horrific Dome Snatcher by using her psionic nuclear beam to her heart, knocking her out cold. And as she was placing the heads back on their proper bodies, Neuron made them know that she hadn't stopped being evil. Eventually, the Dome Snatcher was revived by Cosmic, who decided to let her creation free to hunt for whatever number of heads she could find. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, nothing in particular, just whatever. Teams. Solitary or with other villains. Ozil Inspiration. Head theft. Here's the next character, and if you're a fan of Shakespeare, this is a good one for you. Juliet. Real name, Juliet Montag. Height, 10 feet, weight 2 tons. Status, anti-hero and man collector. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, 3 brains. Behavior, lovely and flirtatious. She'll stop at nothing to collect as many random captives as possible. Lethality, only during a fight. Weaknesses. She always falls in love with the wrong guys. Powers. She has great strength, martial arts, strong pheromones, and the urge to capture and collect every man. She's also good at excuses. Eyes, blue for left, green for right. Hair, bright hazel in shoulder length. Origin. Since she was a baby, Juliet Montag had an unnatural obsession with Shakespeare. One day, she was confronted by Wrath, who granted her with the power to persuade any boy, along with developing a taller height and other capabilities. Eventually, she started kidnapping and containing countless young men, most of them by force. However, Madame Sheer and Destiny tracked her down for stealing their boyfriends, and after some effort, it finally defeated Juliet and rescued her captives. When she got a condemner shell to the head from Denstrini, it only left her comatose for two months. Nowadays, Juliet would always think twice before imprisoning some random boy in order to keep history from inadvertently repeating itself. Costume. She only dresses in formal wear. Teams. Solitary or with others. Or it's inspiration. Romeo and Juliet. This is the last character I'm going to introduce just so you know. 
Demon Girl. Real name, Lorraine Damien. Height, 6 feet 6 inches, varied. Weight, 203 pounds, varied. Status, anti-hero and vice ruler of Tartarus. Base, Tartarus Mobile. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior, seductive and cunning. She enjoys eating sinners alive. Lethality, extremely deadly. She could kill you with just her looks. Weaknesses, she's intolerant of holy objects. Powers, she possesses a variety of demonic powers. She has martial arts, extreme beauty, sharp claws, long horns, a long demonic tail, and wields a demonic trident. She also has uncanny reasoning skills. Eyes blood red, hair deep black and flowy. Origin Lorraine Damien was once a young teen in the Alpha Earth who made the mistake of doubting the will of Tartarus. Hearing this, Satana made Lorraine die from cardiac arrest and threatened to contain her in Tartarus for eternity. However, Lorraine begged Satana for mercy and she decided to transform Lorraine into a demon and made her spend her time as a vice ruler of Tartarus alongside her new friend Tartara, who, just so you know, is the biological mother of Denstrini. One time, Demon Girl was told by Satana to take some corrupted souls from the Tokyo of the Alpha Earth, but she was eventually confronted and defeated by Reaper, who told her that they must only die when they need to. Nowadays, Demon Girl would spend some of her time handling with the other residents of Tartarus. Costume. She wears a black leather unitard with spikes. Team. Solitary. With Satana or others. Or to inspiration. Demons. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those three videos. You know how it is. And, um... I had a... A bit of a paradigm shift recently. I feel like a notable way for my creations to succeed is if I uh, have them interconnected with a charity to support those in terms of suicide prevention because I just figured that it would help with both social recognition and making things work for other people because you know how it is I'm just trying to make things better. Since the dawn of my existence, I just wanted everything to work. You know how it is? Yeah. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. If you want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I uh, hope you guys have a fine Christmas and New Year's Eve when the time is nigh. And until next time and transmission.